I have 150 F. Here comes the S3. Will you resist? 150. I just don't want to talk. Today we have AIDS! Get it? It's the wrong AIDS. That's probably like the only joke that I can think about AIDS because I've never watched Overlord. And here we have the actual AIDS. He is like the easiest free fly shirt to obtain. You don't even have to fight too much of anything or grind shit out. You just get him for free very quickly. But you have to grind out every um memory imprint though. But enough yapping. Let's go through what he does very quickly. The S3 is a debuff skill where we despawn all above and land death sentence. This is most of his gimmick. After 12 turns, it can be your ally, it can be their ally. After they take a total of 11 turn on the 12th turn deals 50k damage this kills anything except if you have like immortality and shit like that he has a passive that makes him die easier it's canon offered he is weak to light element well you know what maybe it's a way of balancing we'll see he does have counter attack though if any allies attack and to see if a counter attack is good we look at the s1 the s1 has 25 percent chance to stun oh shit yeah, that's annoying. It's an AoE as well, so of course, to annoy people to the maximum, you use Abyssal Crown. Oh, shiver me timbers, the amount of stuns I could be getting. It will just piss anyone off. That wise, I have insane amount of bulk, 150F, which is decent enough that I can bank on landing them, I guess. 80F rest, it's decent enough to not get Diva via Lulukar, I guess. But yeah, he needs everything, though. It's pretty hard, but I quite like my bulk. And we're gonna use him in where he does best. Lali Lulelo, get war. Now, I can already see, I know for a fact, this first team right here, two like characters. I am not fighting that. So let's fight the other team of AIDS. Round one, I pray to God everything just works out. It's RNG. Well, we'll see. Round two, Shadow Lee here. Lee means Chinese. I'm Chinese. I can smell Chinese. I smell that your run does not have enough effectiveness to debuff all three of my characters. Thereby meaning I can tank down these two. And the fact that run is so fast, it's going to take multiple turns to cycle through my um, debuff on AIDS. See? genius. Well, here we go now. Do we outspeed? We do. Ha ha ha. Back to the wyvern you go. The fact that I even have a moon buddy just in case I don't outspeed. Yeah, I'm a dang pussy. Right, here comes the dual attack. Can I counter? No counter. And you proc. GG, guys. I think it's over. This guy's not asleep. I think we're dead. Well, we're gonna counter here, though. And yeah, it's all right. I'm gonna sleep the Lilius. Yes. That's good. I'm gonna s one the landy that counters every turn. Yeah, I think we're dead. Yes. <laughs> Just, like, who who likes this character? Seriously, even if you like the character at the start, at, at some point you would just be like, yeah, I think I'm tired of her. Thank you for reversing the RNG. Everything I do, every oxygen I breathe, you want to counter me. It's so annoying, but yeah. I want a Melona Masterclass, huh? Get freaking rolled, dude. Dual attack with Emma Melona as well. Ha! Dead. And there we go. ML Bologna clutching it up. Nice, Shadow Lee. Here comes the actual game, though. We have Ron. It's a speedy Lilius, as I thought. You want to just run Death Break into Lilius, right? But there's no way you're pulling up with effectiveness, Ron. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way. Where's your diva, little bro? But okay. Here comes the counter. You're gonna are you gonna provoke me? No, resist it. That is why you want every bit of stat on it. Unstoppable force right now. Holy shit. Lilius goes. I take quite a bit of damage, but not a mates. I counter. So here comes Senya. You get the gap, but you're not debuffing me. Oh, you are debuffing me. Oh, I'm taking way too much. I don't like this. Here's what we do. We're gonna S3 here. Ains has an S3 that strips all the buffs. I'm gonna get rid of every buff on Senya. Then what does Senya do? Just die now. Oh, here we go. Can we strip? I have 150 F. Did I miss the strip? Don't you dare. We did not miss the strip, baby! Okay, so death sentence in. That's two, that's three. Because, you know, Ron took a turn, Lilius took a turn. Great, that's exactly how it's supposed to go. Now I just need to take, take turns, that's it. While being a nuisance, right? I Every time I do anything, I could just stun them. That is the goal here. Now Ron takes a turn, that's one stack. You know, now there's the seven, because you take two turns in a row. You're not stripping me. Yes, you're not. So take the counter, bang. No stun, because they have immunity. That is so annoying, actually. But you have seven stacks. That's the eighth stack now. Lilith takes a turn. That's the ninth stack. That's the tenth stack. We got Arrowell. I need to strip a run. Come on, strip it. Nice, beautiful. We're gonna attack whoever. I'm still around. Yep, that's 11. That's 12. 48,000 damage. Collapsed, baby. So that's one down. I've yet to stun them even one time. It's crazy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the enemy run is gonna be the catalyst to my death sentence. We're turning whatever 
the hell they do to our favor. Oh, there we go. Death sentence dead. That's the first turn. Ron, you're gonna take two turns in a row. All right, that's plus two. Guess I could Solburn take an extra turn and then, you know, try and get my um, S3 up as soon as possible. Do it one more time. I did stun the Ron. I just keep stunning the Ron. It is funny. Estina, 11. Right? Now, the 12th turn would be on Lily, so she'll practically kill herself. Watch this. Yeah, take a turn. <laughs> kill yourself. That is what I mean by asking people online to kill themselves. That's exactly what I want you to do, okay? I'm, I'm joking, like. It's a joke. Uh, let's just use it because I can. And boom, resistance. That's one of the issues. Like, 15% does happen, right? On paper, his kit looks broken. And so we just have to survive. Get that 50k damage in. Like, it's pretty broken at, uh, by the looks of things. But if we got 15%, like, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? And there are things that he will never be able to beat. Something like a Janua. Even if I take 12 turns, by the time I kill Janua, he has a mortality. And honestly, he would just wipe my whole team anyway. Ignore defense S3. Like, Ains would die in one shot. And of course, Phantom Politics kills anything anyway. But we're gonna try and fight a like character. If I can't fight a Lilius that does no damage, it's over, right? And you know what? In fact, I think it is just better for me to go Layla Violet. It's like a dizzy build. My basic could stun them anyway. Round one, same team. We're just gonna stall them. Layla Violet plus stun should be annoying for them. Round two, level five ML Politics, because I'm a grace of growth main. The thing is, I'm probably gonna win that. Let's cleanse up all the debuffs. We'll have um, Ains, Demon S3 onto probably you. We, we want to get rid of the real threat here, which is you. Here comes S3. Will you resist? 150. I just don't want to talk. I will talk to you when I get my skill back because nothing else is going to happen. Counter. <laughs> Stop! It's an AoE. Stun him. And later violin. Stun him. Resistant resistance. We now have Ains' S3. It is now online. If you resist again, I'm insta yielding. I don't care. There we go. Was it that hard? Holy shit. And you know, similarly, Lilius takes two turns in a row. That's double death sentence. So right there, that, that's three, that's four. Yep, there we go. Here on goes, that's 11. We have a counter. Can we stun someone? Come on. No stun. Resistance again on the shoe. Yeah, you're dead, but what is that shoe, bro? And now we play the waiting game again. I will see you once I have my skill back up. And here we go. We do have it. I'm gonna hit it on the Lilius. It's a 22k health Lilius, right? If you resist again. I've been sitting here way too long, okay? Just, yeah, there we go. I have 150F. It's not nothing. Like, come on. And now we play the waiting game again. I will see you at the 12th round. And that's 11. I should take a turn here and you should die. Finally, now we just have a K run. That's all there is left. Oh my god, that is so excruciatingly painful to play like that. It's Dark Corvus, right? But this is like a different type of excruciating pain. All right, we have a level five politics. We are gonna win anyway, though. I'm pretty sure, right? Like one week they could release something as broken as this, and then another week they're gonna release someone like Tayu. All right, that's a simple ass win. Oh, that is what Ains can do. It's easy as fuck to use. It's just really annoying when you get 15%. So I would still say, I actually rather play Dark Horse if I want to play something like this, where I just, you know, wait things out. But to each other, oh, it's all kind of different. I would say if you're that desperate, you can run both sides, Dark Horse side one, and then Ains side two. But if you do that, it's like, no one's gonna want to be friend with you. And the final fight, we're gonna test the limits of Ains. He takes 30% more damage from light DPSs. So someone like Landy will be really good against you know, Aiden, especially Aiden, it's gonna get what Aiden's gonna one shot Aiden, but not Landy, right? Landy's gonna like chip you down. Let's see if I can deal with that. I have a lot of bulk on me. If I can deal with a team like this, then I would say, yeah, he would literally just be another Dark Horvus in Guild War at least. Round two, we're clearing up. The video is way too long that I have to just cut everything short. Here comes the Lua. You're gonna sleep me, which I probably will get slept. Oh, shit. <laughs> It's fine. It's all right. You're not resetting my Dustina. And here's the thing is, well, I forgot to mention this, but Ains' S3 cannot be reset. That's one of the things. So you can kind of fight Lua with him. Kind of, yeah. Well, step number one, Ains. Landy is still, so I guess I go for Karina, which is still fine. Karina, annoying as heck to deal with. So let's get rid of Karina. We have our death sentence on unless you resist again. And you don't resist again. Beautiful. You're gonna hit me now. Damage-wise, yeah, you can definitely tell that's quite a bit of damage. A little bit worrying, I can't lie. Here comes Ains. We can stun everyone, but we can never stun the, uh, gosh dang, Melandi, right? But we can strip the Melandi. So that's something. No death break yet. Here comes the Melandi. How much damage will I be dealing with? Bang. Yeah, that's a lot. Don't you dare. Oh, no, no, not like that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. 
10,000 on the Bon Voyage. That is insane. I don't like him versus Emelani at all. It is very scary, but we are killing the Karina though. That's great. No counter, please. Thank you. Here comes Lua. You'll sleep me again, right? Oh, that's... Oh, I, I resisted. Nice. I'm not gonna get reset on this. So my S3 should still be up. Yeah, it should say immune. Yep, I'm immune. Death break on my arrow. Well, here comes the hit on Ains. It's gonna be a lot. And you Bon Voyage again. It's 11k health Landy. What the shit? I don't think I win, guys. I can do this again, but I guess it's worth a shot. I'll, I'll keep trying. I can revive. Oh, boy. Get the death sentence in. We have silence as well. We're gonna kill Ains here for sure. But I still have a Destina. Oh, if Ains dies, the debuff disappears. GG! It is a GG echo. All right. You know what? I think that changed a lot of things for me. That that one fight changed some perspective. We'll continue after we finish this fight, though. Honestly, you, you don't gotta watch this. Like, come on, I, I'll just win, right? It, it won't take too long, okay? Get me some more, you know, watch time, you know what I'm saying? That is the arrow well, and we should just one-shot you, or you're just not gonna do anything to me anyway. Kill him, Sid, so I don't have to wait, please. Oh, for real? I have to wait? And there we go. I think we've tried enough to have somewhat of, like, a consensus on Ains. Like, he's best in guild, right? I believe he's best in guild. Or, yes, you can try him RTA. As like a last pick, sometimes they might really have to ban him. Imagine if they don't pick anything that deals with Debo, so you can slam an Ains. That's 100% a guarantee, like, just force back. Against a Melandi, I had a score. Melandi just killed me through escort after, like, two Bon Voyages. So that is how weak he is against, um, light characters. And I I have good bulk stats, right? Look at this. 21k health, 1.5k defense. It's, it's quite bulky. And still, any light character that does damage would be really scary for Ains. The best artifact, I think it is Violin, because the moment they have immunity, you're screwed. Right? I think you want Violin, or you can run another stripper, but it's gonna be pretty tough. I feel like Violin plus the stun, building like, build like a Dizzy from way before, will be good enough. I would say Ains is decent, but definitely not perfect, at least in Guild War. In RTA, I think he'll definitely be a good last pick to just catch the enemy off guard. They have to force ban it. I mean, last pick, everyone force bans last pick, so nothing crazy, right? His weakness is clearly light characters, which is all around the world. Again, I'm a landing at Aiden. If they exist, you're gonna struggle. You're taking too much damage. Some other problem include like Laurel. If you do all those areas on Laurel, you're just feeding him for free. Counter attack as well means LHC could pop up. But otherwise, if the conditions are correct, you can definitely use Ains. Like, against the Ron, Senya, uh, Fire Lilith team, none of them can really do much to my Ains, especially the fact that I have FRS to resist. All the like DPS that would randomly give me Diva like Ron, it's really good to have some FRS for that reason. But yeah, Overall, I think it's a free character. It's not the most broken one, so I think it's fair. And it is definitely usable. I don't think you use him every fight, but it's usable. So I think it's good for them to give that as a free character. And that'll be all for now. I'll mess around with him more and maybe do some more content. But for now, that is all. Take care.